everybody, it's Meryl again. I thought we would have a lovely playtime together with Zog. And look, I've got a green Zog today. I know that Zog in the story is orange, but my Zog is green. Have you got a favourite colour? <gasps> wow! My favourite colour is yellow and I thought that we could do some counting together. I've got a special jar full of dinosaurs. <gasps> do any of you like dinosaurs? Well that's great! I'm so pleased! I'm going to put my hand in here and see how many dinosaurs I've got. Do you think you could join me counting? Are we ready? One, four, two, is it going to stand up? Three, that was brilliant. Four, well done. Eight, nine, ten. Ten yellow dinosaurs. That was great counting. I wonder if the dinosaurs might like to have a play in the palace or the castle that I've built. How about you? Do you think that you could build a castle? Have you got some bricks or some cardboard or some building blocks? Or maybe you could draw a castle. If you manage to do one, maybe you could send me a picture. I'd really love that. Oh my goodness. What is this? It's a sparkly tiara and I think I might just wear it for our story today. Would you like to join me for the story? I'm going to turn on my listening ears, click, click, and I think, yes, they're ready to listen to the story of Zog. Zog's story is all about being kind and helpful and trying so, so hard to be really, really good. And the more that he tries, the better he gets. Are we ready for Zog? Madam Dragon ran a school many moons ago. She taught young dragons all the things that dragons need to know. Hopefully my dragon knows a lot. Zog, the biggest dragon, was the keenest one by far. He tried his hardest every day to win a golden star. All the dragons in year one were learning how to fly. Hi, said Madam Dragon, way up in the sky. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own and you'll all be expert flyers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice, flying fast and free. He soared and swooped and looped the loop and then crashed into a tree. Ouch! Oh, just then, a little girl came by. Oh, please don't cry, she said. Perhaps you'd like a nice sticky plaster for your head. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, his plaster gleaming pinkly as he zigzagged through the blue. A year went by and in year two the dragons learnt to roar. More, said Madam Dragon, louder I implore. 
Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own and you'll all be champion roarers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He roared with fearsome force. He kept it up for hours on end. But then his throat grew hoarse. Oh, poor Zog. Just then, the girl came by again. She said, what rotten luck. Perhaps you'd like a nice soothing peppermint to suck. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew. And breathing fumes of peppermint, he zigzagged through the blue. A year went by and in year three, the dragons learned to blow. No, said Madam Dragon, breathe out fire, not snow. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own and you'll all be breathing bonfires by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He blew with all his might. He twirled around in triumph and his wing tip caught a light. Oh, dear me. Just then, the girl came by again. She said, you poor old thing, perhaps you'd like a nice stretchy bandage for your wing. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, his bandage flapping wildly as he zigzagged through the blue. All the year four dragons were learning. Can you guess? Yes, said Madam Dragon, how to capture a princess. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. You'll need to capture hundreds by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. He tried and tried and tried, but he simply couldn't manage I'm no good at this, he cried. I'll never win a golden star. Just then, he saw the girl. Perhaps, she said, you'd like to capture me. I, Princess Pearl. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off they flew, the princess gripping tightly as they zigzagged through the blue. Ah, said Madam Dragon, our first princess so far. Congratulations, Zog, my dear. You've won a golden star. Zog was proud. Zog was happy and Pearl felt good as well. She took the dragon's temperatures and nursed them when they fell. A year went by and in year five, the dragons learned to fight. Right, said Madam Dragon, here comes a real live knight. Up spoke the knight, my name, he said, is Gadabout the Great. I've come to rescue Princess Pearl. I hope I'm not too late. Zog breathed fire and beat his wings. You can't, she's mine, he roared. Oh no, she's not, yelled Gadabout and waved his trusty sword. The other dragons crowded round and watched them all agog. Who was going to win the fight? So Gadabout or Zog? Then Princess Pearl stepped forward, crying, Stop, you silly chumps! The world's already far too full of cuts and burns and bumps. Don't rescue me. I want to go back to being a princess and prancing round the palace in a silly free dress. I want to be a doctor and travel here and there, listening to people's chests and giving them my care. Me too, exclaimed the knight, and he took his helmet, hel helmet off his head. I'd rather wear a nice twisty stethoscope, he said. 
Perhaps, Princess, you'll train me up. And Pearl replied, Of course, but I don't see how the two of us could fit upon your horse. Then Zog said, Flying doctors, I'd love to join the crew. If you'll let me be your ambulance, then I can carry you. Bravo, said Madam Dragon, an excellent career. And all the year five dragons gave a loud resounding cheer. Then Madam Dragon told the horse, I really hope you'll stay. I'll let you be my pupil's pet and feed you lots of hay. What a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off he flew, the flying doctors waving as they zigzag through the blue. Well, what a fantastic story. Zog tried and tried and got better and better and better. And the princess, wasn't she so kind and caring? What a lovely thing she did to help all those dragons. And then the knight, wasn't that great that he became a team with Zog and the princess? <gasps> Have you noticed? that I've still got a pumpkin from Halloween and I drew some big eyes on it and turned it into my very own Zog just for you. Well, what a fun time we've had. If you manage to build a castle, please send me a picture. I'd love to see it. And so from me and Zog, We'll say goodbye to you all and thank you for joining us for a playtime together.